Hello, I'm Shirley Lin. My guest today is Isaac Hu, a busking juggler, a famous one here in Taipei. He really made his mark here in this big city. So, you um, so far that we've seen you performing on the streets are that I know of mm -hmm. are the seal wheel, which is a huge wheel, and you're actually inside this wheel. Yeah kind of holding on and, you know, turning, spinning around and all that kind of stuff, it's amazing. You have, must have, you know, incredible muscle, you know, strength to do that. And the other thing is um, performing with this crystal ball. You feel like the ball is just like up in the air, but, you know, it's magical. Anyway, how did you decide on these two performers? Well, probably you've done others, but I've seen you do the seal wheel. These um, are the ones I spent the most time working on the developing. Wheel? Yeah, the wheel oh. and the ball. Oh, okay. And before that, also the the fire. Yeah. I think because they're very, they're very simple things. They're kind of. I mean, they're very elemental kind of things. Like both the ball and the wheel, they're round. It's kind of the. I mean, it has no sides. It's as simple as you can be. You can turn these objects around in different ways, and they look the same. Uh huh. Well, and that's, it's very that's neat. Never thought of that way. I don't know. It's something that appeals to me. The yeah. uh, the simplicity of it. It's like before doors are round. I think it's because it's kind of optically appealing. I don't think it must have been very complicated making the doors round like that. Mm hmm. So this wheel, it has to be tailor-made to your height? Yes. Yeah. It's made of steel? It's made of um, steel, aluminum, and plastic. Oh, plastic. That's yeah. interesting. There's a thin coating of plastic, of PVC plastic on the outside. It's a um, uh, sacrificial coat. It creates, it's like a, um, uh, what do you call it? It's like a tire, basically. Okay. It, it adds okay. friction. Otherwise, yeah. the, the wheel, the metal, would be grinding directly on the ground. Oh. And you can change it once in a while. Oh, that is so neat. What did you have to prepare yourself physically, you know, you know in, uh, I don't know, psychologically, to do this thing? Um, you know, I, I, I don't know if people really understand the seal wheel. Can you explain better than me? I mean, what exactly um, you do? It looks like a very large hula hoop. Yeah. And uh, you, but it's the size of a man, mm -hmm. and you either you can roll around it like kind of like a cartwheel, or you can spin around. It's you can also think of it as a big coin. That's a right. Coin, yeah. Kind of yeah, you spin a, the coin, and then eventually it kind of mm -hmm. flattens out. So, so that's what Isaac does with the inside the wheel. Yeah. So, what kind of things are obviously you had to like do workout a lot every day. To work yourself up to it? No, I just train. I do most of my training in the wheel. Sometimes I do other oh. other things. I do mostly body weight kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't do any weights. Mm -hmm. And you actually went to schools, these kind of schools, mm -hmm. um, in I went Moscow, to in, in Denmark, and in then Denmark. in Moscow. Yeah. You know, ignorant that I am, I never knew that there are such schools that really. I specializes in these. I didn't know that either. I came to I came to Europe, and that was the first time I heard that there was schools for circus people. I thought they were born into circus families, which is also <laughs> the case. A lot of yeah. the, the the artists are are born to circus families. They actually have even they even have a school in um, uh, they have schools in the U.S. There's one in Florida. There's one in San Francisco. There's a school here in Nehu as well. Oh, like a shichu really? Shenan. Yeah. Okay. Are you teaching some classes over there? No. You could, right? You're qualified. <laughs> They're pretty... I think they have a lot of teachers there already. And besides, you're busy enough yourself, yeah, with your performances yeah. and everything. By the way, do when you travel around the world to all these different cities, do they invite you to perform there and that's why you went to these different places? Yeah, I don't... Um, uh, now I usually... I get a lot of invitations. So I just um, I just go where I'm invited. If, if I'm going somewhere else, I'll usually just I won't take my wheel. It's heavy. I'll take my I'll take my diving equipment and go to the beach. Because <laughs> I can't take equipment. I can't take both. Yeah, yeah. How did these companies find you? From waiting out for you where you're performing, and then do you give out your numbers? Yeah, I give out my agent's number. I don't give out <laughs> okay. my number, actually. I don't like people to call me. <laughs> oh, all right. Sorry I called you the other no, day. No, that's okay. <laughs> so, well, 
So yeah, so these companies have been amazed with performances. So they invite you mm -hmm. to their company year-end parties, probably, mm -hmm. and like Christmas parties and everything. But they have to be big enough companies to provide big enough place, you know, area for you to perform. Yeah, the wheel has a lot more problem with it having a, yeah. a large enough space. The ball is not a problem. The ball, we need to do some. If Lighting. there's good lights, the ball, yeah. it will light up a lot nicer. Mm. But the wheel having a large enough stage is, it's an issue. Mm. All right. So then the crystal ball, what do you prepare yourself for that? I mean, you're, per you're just so perfect handling that ball. It's like, it's like a piece of feather. How did, how, how do you, how do you, do it so much practicing to master that, you know, the, um, what do you call it, the visual effect that you provide to the audience, to us? It's a lot of the things are, you, to make a really, I think to make a really nice external shape requires a lot of your, um, uh, a lot of your consciousness so the movement of the ball along the body has to has to be at that level where it can be done kind of semi-consciously so you can be aware of the outer shape if you have too much awareness of the placement of the ball then you can't really be aware of what's happening with the rest of your body or the way the kind of shapes you're making in relation to the lights or something like that so it's right. a lot of just having having a lot of control over the ball, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Because I could imagine if you were to give me the crystal ball, I mean, I'm trying to roll it along my arm. I know it won't go far. So, and there are bones in between and the elbows and everything. How do you, you know, you just you, make, you just, just go between the bones and kind of get familiar with the, yeah, familiar with the path. Really? And that means actually getting to know your own body then. Too. Yeah. I think it's a lot like, I've never played golf, uh -huh. but sometimes I read books about playing golf because yeah. I think the, the way that you train golf is a very good um, uh, template for training other things, okay. the kind of awareness needed. Really? I think it's, I mean, it's kind of, you have to be aware when you're swinging the club back, aware of all the different parts of your body, how they're interacting and you have to be coming down and all the time you need to have this awareness there. Mm. Now, do jugglers generally just handle one crystal ball? I mean, I, I'm just curious. Do do does anybody like handle two? Yeah, they do two, three, sometimes more. When they do crystal more, balls. Yeah, when they do more, they generally do a lot more. Kind of like, like the balls roll around like this. Oh. In a circle, kind of like that. Are they called baoding balls? I'm not really sure. It's like kind of, you see like the old Kung Fu master does that thing. Yes. With the balls. It's kind of like that. But sometimes they'll put a lot of balls in their hand. But they're smaller then. They're smaller the, then. Oh, they're not okay. going to be as, as large as a, if you're working with a single ball. 